Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online and we're doing another outfit guide. Today's video is another fan request and we're going to be doing Virgil Cole from the movie Appaloosa. And I know this one has been requested a lot across a lot of videos, especially my Everett Hitch video uh, from the same movie. So if you want to see that one, check it out because I've already made it. But today we're going to be doing Virgil Cole. If at any point in today's video you find yourself enjoying it, definitely remember to leave a like on the video as it helps the video out a lot and shows me that the content I'm making is appreciated. On top of that, if you haven't already subscribed, and you like this content, please subscribe to the channel as you'll be helping the channel grow and you'll be seeing content like this on a regular basis. So with all that in mind, let's start it off with the weapons. All right, so the first gun we're going to be looking at today is his main hand weapon, and that's going to be a Colt single action army revolver. And of course, for that, we'll use the Cattleman revolver. And his has bone grip. We don't have that, but we'll use pearl grips. And his is the seven and a half inch barrel, so we'll be using the long barrel on this. And then no carvings, no engravings, and just all black and steel gives you the most uniform and most similar to his look. Now his in the movie is clearly blued steel, but as I point out all the time, the blued steel in this game is too blue. It's it's too vivid to be actually gun blued steel, so you're much better off going with the blackened look, as it matches the realistic one a lot more. Now like I said, in real life, blued steel does have blue to it, that's why it's called blued steel, but it's not a vivid royal blue like it is in the game. Here, I'll just show you. That's pretty much too blue. I mean, the Cattleman Revolver is probably the most subdued out of all the guns when it comes to putting on blued steel. Uh, so if you want to do all the blued, uh, all blued steel, I think it still looks all right. But I think the black and steel looks better for this gun, especially when you're out in, you know, live action and not just looking at it on the gun shelf. So uh, that is his main hand weapon. Let's move on to the next weapon. All right, and then for his offhand weapon, the one that he normally keeps just tucked into his gun belt in the movie, we have another Colt Single Action Army Revolver, so we're going to be using another Cattleman Revolver. And this one you're going to want to have the ironwood grips on and use the mahogany varnish on those and the short barrel for this one since this one that he uses is a uh, artillery variant so it has the shorter barrel and then we're going to make it like i've got it here so i've got brown steel for the frame and then black and steel for the barrel cylinder hammer sight and trigger because the one that he uses in the movie as his you know belt gun or offhand weapon appears to be a pretty factory design and this is the closest we can come to that uh blued steel and uh color case hardened finish that was real factory back then. So that is his offhand weapon. All right, and then we're going to be uh, imitating his Winchester 73 that he uses in the movie as, I mean, his is a little bit shorter barreled than this, but the best we can do in the game is the Lancaster repeater. And we're going to want no uh, wraps on it, but all the other improvements. And then we're going to want no carvings, no engravings. I used the uh, the dark walnut varnish, and I think that looks really nice. Mahogany would work as well. It just needs to be something dark and uniform looking. And then for the metals, I did it like this. I have blued steel for the barrel, brown steel for the frame, black for the hammer, lever, and sight, and brass for the trigger. Uh, it matches a pretty stock look for guns from the period. Obviously, you could just do all blued steel, but I think this looks a little bit better. And it matches his specific gun from the movie pretty dang well. And he uses this for a significant portion of the movie, so if you want to try imitating the outfit really well, you need the two... Uh, Colt Single Action Army Revolvers, and the Winchester Repeater. So, again, Lancaster Repeater, just like this. A short-barreled Cattleman Revolver with the darker metals, like I showed you, the, uh, the the factory finish and the wood grips, and then a long-barreled Cattleman Revolver, all black and steel with the pearl grips. And that is the guns for Virgil Cole. Let's move on to the outfit. And here we have the outfit. Now, the only issue with this outfit, because it looks pretty dang good in my opinion, the only issue that I really take with it is that the hat sits really high on the head, whereas in the movie he keeps his pulled down quite a bit lower. If you could do that, it would look better, and if it bothers you too much, then the stalker hat might be a better option because it just naturally sits lower on the eye line. Uh, but I think the way that I've got it put together looks almost exactly like him for the movie, or at least as close as we can make it here in the game. So uh, let's just go through all of the items that make up this outfit. So for starters with the hat, like I said, I went with the row barrow hat. Uh, I think it looks the best just because it's got the nice thin brim that matches his and the plain flat top and the nice uniform black color. So I personally think this one matches his hat from the movie the best. Uh, if you missed this hat because this was with quick, tra quick draw pass 2 I believe is how you got this hat. If you can't get it or you just don't like how high it sits on his head then the best the next best option is this one. The plain black stalker hat obviously is a great hat. It matches a lot of outfits. I think it matches his really well. It's got the same uniform black look. The hat's nice and flat on top. It's got uh, the crimped in crown. His is slightly crimped in the movie so it matches. The brim isn't as thin and it curls up a little bit unlike his in the movie but it does sit lower on the eye line so it looks a little bit more intense like he does 
was from the movie. So it really depends uh, taste-wise. If you've got the Robear hat, like I said, I think it looks the best for this outfit. But if you don't have it or you don't like the way that it, it looks, then the, the next best option is the Black Stalker hat. So that's the hat. For the coat, we're going to try hitting his most signature look, I guess, because he obviously wears a few different things throughout the movie. But uh, the for most of the movie, he wears a black sort of suit jacket looking thing. Obviously, it's just a plain coat from the period. It's not a, a business suit or something like that. But it kind of looks nice, uh, and it's very uniform and black. It's clean. It doesn't appear to have any damage, and it is made out of some sort of linen cloth, not leather or something. So I think the best option is the worsted coat. There's a couple different variants of coat that look pretty decent with a plain black look. Uh, there's a, I believe, a brakeman jacket that looks okay, and maybe an everyman jacket, and possibly the Antoine jacket. But I think the black worsted coat looks the best and matches his from the movie the best. So that's why we use that for the coat. So for the vest, in the movie, he wears a decently fancy look looking, it kind of looks like a gray tweed with a black outline uh, vest for, throughout the movie. I think the best option for imitating that in the game is this sort of grayish beige opulent vest because it's got the, the lighter color like his does in the movie and then the black outline around it. It looks decently fancy like his does in the movie. Unfortunately, we don't have a watch chain that we can put on there, but I think this vest matches it the best. There's a couple other vests if you don't want to use this one because the opulent vests do cost gold bars. There's a couple other vests that work passably well. This variant of the traditional vest I guess works. I think it doesn't look as nice and it looks a little bit too ripped up and dirty to match it, but it's got roughly the same color and it's obviously a vest so it matches the shape decently well. And then the plain uh, gray variant of the paisley vest obviously works decently well because it's a fancier looking vest and it's the right color. So any of those vests will work, but I think the opulent vest that I used works the best. Then for the shirt, he wears a pretty clean looking uh, collared white shirt that's buttoned all the way up in the movie, uh, at least for the vast majority of the time. Now, his looks a little bit fancier than this, but uh, it, the collar folds down, so the French dress shirt doesn't work quite as well. But I think the white everyday shirt works th the best. But if you don't like the way this one looks and you want it to look slightly fancier like his does in the movie, you could always use this one. The white cawherdy shirt uh, looks slightly fancier, has a little bit more frill on it, so underneath the vest, you'll see a little bit more of that sticking out. Either one of them works passably well, but the collar works better for the everyday shirt, which is why I chose that one. For weapon equipment, I had a difficult time matching it because he's got a real clean reddish brown looking gun belt with one holster and then he keeps another gun just tucked into his belt. Obviously we can't do that so we're gonna have to use an offhand holster but uh, I couldn't find one that I liked that matched the uniform clean look of his gun belt and the color the best so I ended up going with the studded bandit gun belt. Now obviously if you don't want the studs and you want it to look plain and clean like his then the uh, gunslinger gun belt has a brown variant that works passably well but I think the studded bandit gun belt looks the best because it looks nice and clean and uniform. It's got the gold buckle like his does and uh, it, it comes close to matching the color, so that's why I use this gun belt. Then for the offhand holster, like I said, he doesn't wear one in the movie, but he does keep a gun tucked in, so if you want to dual wield, you're going to need an offhand holster, and I use the uh, reddish-brown bulger holster. It matches the color of the gun belt. Uh, well, actually, this color and texture matches this, his weapon equipment for the movie better than the main gun belt does, but the bulger gun belt doesn't match this holster. It's a complicated process, but that's the weapon equipment that I used for this outfit. For the pants, we're going to be using the clean black clerk pants. Now in the movie his are a dark either a really really dark blue or a slightly faded black but they do look pretty clean and uniform which is why I went with the clerk pants. You wouldn't want to go with the tuxedo pants on something like this but any of the clean black pants will work. I just think the clerk pants work the best. So that's why I use these. Then for boots the slightly more worn out black variant of the worn ropers boots look almost exactly like his do in the movie and of course those should be tucked into the pants because he does not wear his on the outside of his pants. And then for spurs keep it at night nice and simple with the black western rider spurs they ma match the pants and the and the boots rather well and the style of the spurs from the movie so that is the spurs for this outfit. So that's what we have all put together. Now obviously my character looks a little too young because the actor that plays uh, Virgil Cole in Appaloosa is obviously quite a bit older. So if your character is an older character that would be best. But he is a thin guy so if you're going to try imitating it from the start you're going to want to have that nice athletic or thin build. And then clean shaven, no stubble, and then just a short haircut with uh, white or grayish hair because that matches his decently well from the movie. But that is the entire outfit. I think it looks pretty dang good. I think it matches him from the movie pretty well. 
Like I said, there's the only thing that could maybe be questioned or things I should say that could maybe be changed could be the hat might be better is the black stalker hat. That'll come down to personal taste. And of course the vest, if you don't like that it's a slightly more beige and less gray color than his is in the movie, it might be better to go with the gray variant of the paisley vest. But like I said, that stuff comes down to personal taste. I really like it just like this. But that's where we're going to end the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. Hope if you really wanted to dress up like Virgil Cole, now you can. Like I said, I already did an Everett Hitch video. So if you're an Appaloosa fan that really likes to uh, role play as these two main characters, then obviously both of them are now up on the channel. So if you like this one, maybe go check out that one. It's, it's up to you. I really like Appaloosa. I think it's an underrated Western. I think both of these characters are entertaining, interesting people like in the movies. And obviously their outfits are very cool. Uh, so they're, they're well worth imitating, I think, if you want to be a lawman trying to bring law and order to a, a rough and tumble town like Valentine here. But with all that in mind, thanks a ton for watching the video. I greatly appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.